since the family want to come for me, Tina, tell Poncho and his son, Anthony, my so-called nephew, what you said about him, how you said he was molesting his artistic oldest son, how he was touching on him. Remember, you told me charisma was touching on people too. Said she the reason why a lot of the kids in the family fucked up. See, they all hanging together, being fake and phony, joining forces just to try to come against one person. Then once they get them, then they go after the next person and the next person and the next person. And it's just stupid. I ain't with the bullshit. And I call it like it is. My whole family went weird, dumb, stupid, and retarded. And that's why they losing that life, looking stupid. My mom looking crazy. My brother's looking stupid, especially my um, my little brother, Christian, who I used to be very close to. And he letting the devil get to him and fuck his mind up to the point he willing to destroy his sister. <laughs> it's not going to happen, y'all, so get over it. It's not going to happen. But okay, keep on trying, though. And I know you involved, Christian. I know both Christians involved. I know all my nephews involved. Cisco, Anthony... Look, I know my daughter is even involved. It's sad and unfortunate. I never wanted to bring these people up because, you know, they look, they was like the kids. You know what I'm saying? It's not like my sisters and brothers, dumbass. But these is the kids. Then my little handicap ass wanted to come for me with her special ed ass. The family done got her all fucked up. Tina done did some spell on her to kill her. She damn near died. And she now she's so scared or I don't know, I guess they cutting the money or something. There's some money involved for sure. And I know Tina stole my fucking check that I was supposed to get from that uh lawsuit I had last year in January and never received it. I know my mother know about it too. But it's all good. Y'all feel this shit worth it, honey. Y'all really think y'all not gonna get caught up? Y'all really think this little circle of stalkers that y'all gather together is not gonna get caught up? Jason Black, you gonna get caught up. He ain't no brother of mine. He my cousin. He's a weird dude. He's a Leo. Leos are pretty weird. But he's lit. He, he's weird as fuck. He's a traitor. All of them are. All of them are. And you can look at them and they pictures or see them together and you will know they fake as fuck. All of them got little spirits in them, and you can tell. My sister fucked her son up. He's so fucked up. Cisco fucked up. My um Christian kids fucked up. All my brother's kids is fucked up. They worse than the girls' kids, but the girls' kids fucked up too. The only kid that seemed to be somewhat normal is my daughter, Little Angel. That's it. Everybody else seemed to have given in and converted and playing games and acting like they parents. And I ain't got time. I would cut their ass off like I did. I'm not finna fuck with you people. Y'all not gonna change me at all. So they be thinking like, oh, she not gonna change me. I ain't trying to change y'all. Y'all can stay demonic all you want. I'm not touching my kids. And I never would. I'm not sleeping with my cousin, my sister, my brother, Tina, Jason, Pancho, Kiana, whoever. Charmika involved too. Her ugly ass man. <laughs> Her kids know about it. You know, this a bullshit. This my family, nieces, nephews. This close shit. But I had to put it out there. And how I'm talking don't mean I'm tough guy. I'm just in my feels and I need to be. Because it's been going on for years. Like I really truly believe my mom since I was a little kid and my dad, but he gone now. You know what I'm saying? But uh he did. And I believe they have every, they had uh, sacrificed me since I was a child, chose me to be the, you know, sacrifice since I was a child and been trying to destroy me since I was little. Um, my mom really never been there for me, basically treated me like Cinderella in a nutshell. And I had to do what she wanted me to do in order to get any love or affection or attention from her. And these are the facts. She'll lie all day. Not that true. <laughs> that she lying. No, I'm not lying, old lady. I'm not lying. Everything I'm saying is the truth. I ain't going to pick on everybody in the whole world and come against City Hall and think that, I, you know, I'm not that tough guy. I'm not going to go after the whole world if it's not true. If it's true, I'm going to put it out there. And if I, if y'all thinking y'all going to take me out, then I want the world to know the truth. So if I do go out, I want them to know my family was involved with this. They orchestrated all this and they got my 
so-called best friend. She ain't no best friend of mine. She's a crazy coop. But her name is Renee Lindell Tate. Regina Washington, ugly, burnt, crispy-looking ass. Trey Vett. All these bitches who went to school with me, who grew up with me, who been knowing me for over 30 years, over 35 years. And this this what they do. Call themselves my sister. Jason called himself my brother. <laughs> and these is the people who snaking me, trying to say I'm crazy. But y'all tell me, who sound like the crazy one? Motherfuckers just plotting on somebody for no reason? Or somebody who minding their business like me? I'll wait. I'll be with back if you know i feel like i need to speak on anything else i'm gonna post a picture of my family so that if anything happens to me y'all know and have a face of each and everybody because they all know what's up even if they ain't putting their hands directly in it they all trying to set me up they all trying to take me out they all jealous and they all mad and they all hate me because i have a special gift and it's not my fault. I got it from God. Y'all mad at me? Talk to God. Tell him about it. Do the hard work I had to go through. Have the whole world turn on you and try to crucify you. And see if you still stand. They tried to make me commit suicide by coming against me so hard. And trying to make me feel like I'm crazy and outcasting me and scapegoating me. And fucking gaslighting me. And it ain't gonna work. Because I got a mouth and I'm gonna speak. As long as I got a voice, I'm going to speak. And if I got to die speaking, I will. So Tina, Jason, Christian, Ronnie, Poncho, Meyer, D, my whole fucking family. These is my sisters and brothers, y'all. I was good to these people. I ain't hurt these people. All my intentions was good. Yeah, everybody had their ups and downs, trials, trials and tribulations, ins and outs, where you had your moments where y'all go through changes and stuff like that. But who didn't go through something? But at the end of the day, I was a good sister to these people. And then when I saw them being snakish, I, I just simply removed myself from the situation. Like, I'm not going to let them take me out. I'm not going to let them disturb my peace. And I have a right to pick and choose who I want to deal with. And then they think they, because they know police officers and they know lawyers and they know this person and that person that they going to hook up with them and they going to take me out. Well, I know people too. I know police officers too. I know lawyers too. I know people too in high places. So you better back up. Back the fuck up. Because when y'all get locked up, don't come crying and don't come asking me for y'all help. Because I'm not going to help you. Because y'all not helping me. All y'all know what's going on. And y'all all cool with that shit. Showing that y'all all psycho. I'm done because I can't right now. Because I'm, I'm just like a little bit in my feels. Because I'm getting sick of this dumb shit. All for like for what? Jealousy, hatred, and for money. The real power is in knowledge. And I hold the true key. That part. That's why they really mad. Because I got the power and they want the power. And they don't got it. And they ain't gonna have it. Because y'all too weak. Only somebody strong can carry the power. And that'll be me. And Maya, you need to be a damn shame of your little anorexic looking ass. Lying to everybody talking about you eating. You ain't eating. If you was eating, you wouldn't still be looking like a skeleton.